Hey guys, it's Kelly Slemp, pediatric speech language pathologist, making these videos during the coronavirus outbreak to hopefully help you as parents and caregivers work on speech and language skills at home with your little ones. While we're not able to provide direct services in the schools and in, the, in your homes right now, so I had a request to do this video. It's an art articulation video and it's for the F sound. So a lot of times um, we hear of kids replacing the F sound, which is a sound where air is flowing through your mouth with a sound that stops the air. And so as speech language pathologists, we call that, it's a pattern of errors. We would call it a phonological process error called stopping. And again, the kiddo is stopping the airflow. A lot of times we see the B sound instead of the F sound. They, they might say, mommy, mommy, look at my butt instead of foot. So that's a typical error. And I'm gonna show you today how you can elicit at home. So um, just to get the structure of therapy, a lot of times two and three year olds are not gonna sit and repeat sounds back back and forth with you, back and forth with you forever. So I recommend um, breaking it up into smaller segments, usually 15 to 30 minutes is gonna be max, um, especially for articulation with little ones. So the F sound usually is acquired between the age of three and three and a half, usually by that time, typically developing um, articulation skills for the F sound are met and most kiddos have mastered that in all positions of the words. And so really quickly, I'm going to show you if I'm working on the F sound, this is what I would do. I get a little game, whatever your child likes. And so usually I say work first, then play. And um, so they'll do work, but I'll, I'll imitate it first. So I say, okay, like if you want to go first, I'll work first. Let me show you. Uh, do you like bunnies? I love bunnies. Oh, let me show you my bunny face. I make the best bunny face. And usually kids are like, I make the best bunny face. And you say, no, I do. And so I say, look how I put my teeth over my lip, over my bottom lip. If they don't know what over is, I'll show them. I'll take a cup, I'll put it over the ball. And I'll say, see how the cup is over the ball? You cannot see the ball. Let me show you how I put my teeth over my bottom lip. And then I go like this. And that's my bunny face and my bunny sound. And then I see if they can do the correct placement because that's gonna be step number one is making sure that they can get their oral articulators or their mouth, their lips, their teeth, their tongue in the correct placement in order to make the sound, to make the air come out. So placement is everything. So I'll just do that for the first couple of turns. Oh, you saw my bunny face. Your turn, work first. And then they do it. Let's say they do this. That's usually the thing is they can't, you know, Maybe they do their bottom teeth over. I'll say, ooh, good trying. Here, let me go ahead and give you a turn. Then the next turn, so they take their turn. Okay, there's the turn. Ooh, wow, oh no, I hope the fish doesn't blow up. Oh, okay, my turn, here we go, ready? You put your, your teeth over your bottom lip like this. And if they don't know, I'll touch their bottom lip. You know, here's your bottom lip, let me see. And I'll push their bottom lip in and try to force it. Um, you can do this with your child, put, put their teeth over their lip like this. Or if you want them to bite in their finger, like that, or, and then tell them to tuck their um, bottom lip under, that's another way to do it. And then I just want them to blow the air out after they've already gotten that movement down, after they're able to do it spontaneously or when prompted, that'd be great. And we're moving on. So now I'm gonna blow air out, are you ready? I need the air coming right down here and that's gonna be our touch cue. <laughs> It's like a little uh, preface right there. So here's our touch cue. And that's because I can feel the air coming out of my mouth um, underneath my teeth, which is again, over my bottom lip. Oh, <gasps> can you do that? Let me feel, let me feel. And I'll put my finger on their chin like this and I'll give them the cue. Teeth over your bottom lip. Good job, bunny face. And then let's blow out. We want the air coming out of your mouth. Wow, I felt the air coming out. Good job. Okay, good working. Now we get our turn. All right, we got our turn. Uh oh, the fish blew up. And so now it comes back to me and we just do really quick turns. Again, 15 minutes maximum. I would do 15 minutes a day if you can for five days a week. Make it a part of their routine. After we brush our teeth or after we eat breakfast, we play our speech game. What game do you want to play while we practice speech? Kind of let them feel like they're in control and then they're earning their turns. Um, by by doing your cues and what you're asking them to do. And so again, we want to um, then pair it from isolation where you're just making the sound with a vowel sound. So fo, fall, foo, fe, 
Bye. Wow, good job. I heard all of your vowel sounds. Those are great. Let's see if you can do the whole word. Do you think you can do the whole word? <gasps> okay, watch me first. Ready? Foot. Did you see how I did that F sound and I was blowing my air out with my teeth over my lip? Like foot or fight. And remember, if you're, let's say you're doing the word fight and you're working on the F sound and your child says five. You say, great job with your F sound. Because why? We're only working on the F sound. That's what we've targeted. That's what we're eliciting. We'll fix the rest later. Um, just make a little note of it and then we'll, we'll fix that later. But remember, we're working on the F sound. So it doesn't matter what the rest of the word sounds like. If their F sound is correct, good job to them. And I always like encourage them, motivate them. Don't even mention the rest of the word because um, that's going to discourage them. If all we ever do, we're trying to work on the F sound, then their child finally says the F sound correctly, and then now we're complaining about the G, right? Um, and so we want to just always motivate and encourage and tell them, good trying. Oh, I liked how you, you know, put your lip over. Next time, remember to blow um, and just add on and add on until they've acquired that skill. Initial position of the word, final position of the word, as in off, and then after both of those have been met, 80% approximately, so they're getting it right eight out of 10 times over and over again consistently, go ahead and move on to that medial position of the word. These are all imitative where you're saying it and then they're saying it back to you. Like B4 and add in that tactile cue if you need. B4. Um, it's just a, little, just a little reminder, especially whenever the placement changes. So I hope that this was helpful for your F sound and let me know if you have any other questions. Take care.